It was a late night and an early morning. I was up late talking with some other creators on Discord. I'm getting used to Discord. So CJ, Genki, Michael, Adil, Adil, I, I apologize if I put your name, but awesome meeting you guys on there. Awesome chatting with you. Hope we can meet in person and I hope to have many, many great conversations this year. Also something amazing happened last night that I was super pumped about. I'll talk more about that later, but right now it's been an early morning. I've been getting a bunch of work done. I'm gonna go meet the family for some breakfast because you know, priority. <laughs> Let's go. I've had an amazing Sunday. Woke up, got work done, went and met up with the kids for breakfast, and then I got a bunch of other work done. I went and worked out, I went to a steam room, sauna, the whole thing, got a shower, I feel great, kinda late right now, but it's just one of those things where I feel, I just feel good, like everything feels good right now. I wanna go back to what I was talking about earlier. I said something really cool happened last night, and for me it was a really big deal because one of my favorite creators, Roberto Blake, he actually shared my video from the other day. I'll link it up here. He shared it with his community. So he put it on his community page and blasted it out to all his subscribers. When I first got that notification, I was just kind of like this. Like, really? Really? Then I started getting comments on that video. I started getting crazy views. I started gaining a few subscribers. So if you are new from Roberto's channel, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming over here. Thank you for taking the time to spend some time with me. I really, really appreciate you being here. So I was riding high. I was texting friends. I was, te I was like, oh my gosh, Roberto Blake. Because seriously, Roberto has been such an inspiration. I've been following him for a long time. For him to do that for one of my videos just Wow, that blew me away and I am so grateful, Roberto. Thank you so much, man. I was really riding high, I was happy, everything was going good. Then all of a sudden, I allowed my self-doubt to creep in. I have this issue, it's something I struggle with all the time. I get this self-doubt, this anxiety that I'm not good enough and ironically, that's what the video that I made for Roberto, like I know we're all good enough, but we all have that self-doubt moment. And when somebody like Roberto or a bigger YouTuber puts your work out there to the subscribers, I get this fear that it's just gonna be a wave and then go away. Like, it's not, I wanna build obviously, but I have a fear that, okay, that video was good enough to resonate with people, but will the next video be that way? And all these thoughts started going through my head and what it does is it shuts me down, paralyzes my creativity, and I just, I freeze. Like it just kinda, you have that freak out moment, like you're happy, but you're also freaking out, like I'm not good enough over here. Like it's this constant battle in my head. Luckily there's this amazing guy, awesome friend and YouTuber, Jake. I texted him and he was like, dude, that is so awesome. That's so awesome. That was a great video. You deserve it, all the stuff. And I, I said, yeah, but now, and I explained, I was like, yeah, but now I'm a little worried that you know, you gain that and then it's just gonna go away in the next video. Kinda put it in perspective and said, look, just keep doing what you're doing and yeah, you might lose a couple people, but just keep going along your journey. He gave me this quick pep talk and it was just, it put things in perspective. Like just because that happened doesn't mean I need to change myself. I don't need to try and make something bigger and better and crazier. Like I just wanna stay the course, stick to my priorities, and try to stay on the path to what I'm trying to accomplish. I am really bad about getting awards or having people recognize me for something because I never know how to take it and I always feel like there's some mistake or they need to recount something or whatever the case may be. I just, I never feel like I deserve it and I'm trying to get better. I am working hard to convey a message and bring value every day and try to make it as quality as possible. Within that whole event and talking to Jake and everything else, it brings me to today's takeaway. Today's takeaway is this. When something good happens, 
Give yourself some credit. Don't let self-doubt paralyze you from moving forward. Give yourself credit, recognize yourself for a minute, but don't dwell on it. When something like that happened, don't live in that. Don't use that all the time. A month from now, I'm not gonna be doing a video series on why I think Roberto Blake shared my video. The action happened. I am so grateful, so thankful, but I'm not gonna dwell there. I still have a mission, there's a lot I want to accomplish, and I gotta keep moving forward. Next time something good happens, walk away, take 10 minutes, do some breathing, relax, and reflect on what just happened and appreciate it, and then kind of move over here. Now what? What do I do now? And move forward. Don't get stuck there and let it hold you back from being creative. You gotta move on, you gotta keep moving forward. Because anytime you have an end goal, if you stop, that's, that's more time you've wasted not getting towards your goal. That is it for the vlog today. I am gonna go get some sleep because I have to get up early and drive up to Minnesota. I'll definitely be bringing you along for that. It'll be my first journey vlog for 2019. So if you are new to the channel and you've never seen the journey vlog, there's a lot of just fun action, rock music, and all that kind of stuff. Um, those are always really fun ones for me to edit. I have a blast doing them. But again, if you're new from Roberto's channel, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I've had some great comments and I do comment back to everybody. Sometimes it takes me a little longer to get to them than other times, but I do get back to everybody. The comments have been great. I appreciate it. I love the new interaction. Things like this get me fueled up, get me pumped up, and they just keep that creative train going. So thank you. When you see this video, it will be Monday. So happy Monday, everybody. Get out there and crush the week, and I will see you tomorrow.